Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry. And alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Aston Villa facing Manchester City. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Number seven, John McGinn. Number ten, Emiliano Buendia. Number 21, Anwar Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. And so the battle commences. Defensive efficiency personified. Matt Target. And the players waiting in the centre. Can he convert? And that's easy peasy for the keeper. De Bruyne. So for Aston Villa, it really was a fine performance and a magnificent result in the last game against Norwich City. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Well, to go away from home and win was a good result for them in a really entertaining game. Today, they will be a lot tougher, and I'm expecting a really close game with neither side quite having enough to win it. Bailey, that's not a bad ball. Well, that cross was more than acceptable, but they couldn't fire at home. And the danger clear. And this is how the table looks. Just to confirm, a victory would catapult them into the Europa League next season, Stewart. Well, what a chance they have. Oh, Stewart's a chance. And there it is. 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. And so the game back in business. City ahead here. John McGinn. And the flag has gone up. Offside. Rodri. Now with Jesus. Oh, great attacking play. Oh dear, not a great effort, was it? Well, they do like to press whenever they can. And that's how to deal with finesse. Well, it's an easy save for the keeper. It wasn't the best option, that's for sure. Leon Bailey. Target with it. El Ghazi. Delivered into the box. and prevents a goal well just listen to the fans they know this is a big chance here and over comes the corner superb save well he should score of course but that's a brilliant save and over it comes no keeper will mind that sort of corner Well, City haven't bossed the possession, as you can see, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far.
And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Crossing possibilities. McGinn. Firing it in. Tremendous block. Now can they counter clinically? Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. And you wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Able to close down the shot. A chance then for the respective managers to address their... Two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Will he play it in? Inside he goes. The crossbar got in the way. Well, desperately close to going in that time. Ibrahine. Ruben Diaz. Well, it was an eye-catching first-half performance by Gabriel Jesus. Sum it up for us. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Well, but tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. big chance and really he should have taken that but let's give credit to the goalkeeper it's a decent save De and the counter attack is on options available oh lovely ball it could be for Raheem Sterling oh not to be that would have put them well on their way Stuart well that could prove to be a big miss surely has to score there well they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change Right, just hearing a goal has gone in at Anfield. Let's get the details from Alex. It's a goal for Brighton. They've scored the opener with 60 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always, Alex. Oh, just wide of the mark. Goal kick. Well, that never looked like troubling the keeper, did it? But it was worth an effort. A good strike from him. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Aston Villa facing Manchester City. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. And a strong tackle. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? 
It's still there for him. And played in. It comes to nothing in the end. Douglas Luiz. Well, I'm hearing the referee has pointed to the penalty spot in one of the other games. Let's hear more about it from Alex. Yes, it was a penalty for Liverpool, and he's only going to hit it straight in. Is it going to be? And a goal it is for Manchester City. They are the team on course for victory. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And he does well to read the flight of the ball, to be fair. Almost just cushions it beyond the goalkeeper, and that seemed to catch him off guard. A really good control finish. Danny Ings! There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So there we have it. 2-1. That's fine play to keep control of the ball. Can he play it in? And a harmless cross gobbled up. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Manchester City facing Burnley. This could level it. Oh, he's given a penalty. Just what they wanted to avoid given the circumstances. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. What a lot of referees would have... And he puts it away confidently. Well, as you can see from the replay, the keeper tries to read the penalty, but he's sent the wrong way, and it ends up looking a very easy finish. Back underway here, and they've split the four goals between them so far. And so into the final five minutes. And it's positive from Manchester City. Is it in the cards for them to score a late winner? But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. Bernardo Silva. And Sterling has it. Here's Gabriel Jesus. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. And time is of the essence. Corner awarded to Manchester City. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch. Number 17, Kevin De Bruyne. To be replaced by number 8, Ilkay Gundogan. And no worries for the goalkeeper. And that is going to be all for this game. Well, we were treated to goals, but no winners in the end. Stuart, what did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was certainly entertaining. Both sides had periods of the game where they were dominant, but overall, I think the draw is just about the right result.